Hey everybody, it's Mario here, Mario Krim. So, um, the people of Kirsch Helmets sent me uh, this, one of their helmets here. So, they asked me, Joan and the, and the folks there at Kirsch asked me to review this helmet, tell you what I thought about it. So, as I told Joan, I'm going to review it. I'm going to be honest with everybody, and uh, so here's my honest review. Um, we're going to start out with the negatives, uh, because immediately when I opened this box, I felt the box, pulled out the helmet, and it's heavy, all right? So this was a major concern of mine right off the bat, was how heavy the helmet is. As you can see, it is lined here with a silicone inner uh, frame. It's, there you go. So this has uh, got quite a bit of weight to it, so it was very much a concern of mine. But I decided to give it a chance, um, check out the helmet, utilize the helmet, ride with the helmet, and that's exactly what I did. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about just helmets in general. I'm not a full helmet, face mask type of guy. I want a half helmet. I want glasses. That's how I'm going to ride, all right, if I'm going to use a helmet at all. And fortunately, you know, and fortunately, last year I was in an accident with somebody pulled out in front of me, didn't have a helmet, didn't get hurt, but it very easily could have been something different. We talk about accidents. I mean, 75% of all motorcycle fatalities result because of there's major brain trauma. So utilizing a helmet or any helmet whatsoever could make a difference. I'm not telling you you should wear a helmet. I'm just telling you the facts. All right, so use it for what you want. Um, I know some of you won't use helmets, and that's the reason we have the freedom we do in this country. So by all means, ride on. Here's the old helmet I used to have. Not a bad helmet. I, I had this thing. I've had this thing for years. Um, it's a little scuffed up. Never been in an accident, beat up, or whatever else. But it's got the old traditional chin straps and everything else. Uh, just a foam liner in there and everything. Uh, didn't wear it that much. You know, why I didn't wear it that much. I didn't wear it because the helmet would move around on my head. I didn't like the chin straps. I didn't like. I didn't like the helmet at all. I don't like the fact this helmet here when I'm wearing it, wearing it, I get wind shear and I get a little bit of noise off of it. So back to this helmet, all right? So like I said, I gave it a try. Got on the bike, went and rode. It kind of blew my mind, I'm gonna tell you. So yeah, it's heavy, but once you're riding, you don't notice the weight of it. Second thing you don't notice is that this helmet doesn't shift around in your head. Something I've always disliked about helmets, half helmets, any helmets whatsoever. It doesn't shift around on your head. Uh, the bike doesn't, the, this, riding a bike and wearing this helmet, you don't get noise from the helmet. So I'm not getting that little bit of wind shear noise that comes off the helmet. Very much like it. Great visibility. I can see all the way around. This is what I like a half helmet. Uh, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't move around on you or anything else. All right. This helmet, eight years, eight years is what it took them to design this helmet. So they did not just come out and produce a helmet, try to put it on the market. The people at Kirsch slowed down. They slowed the process down. They, they studied helmets. They studied uh, the aerodynamics of the helmet, the construction of the helmet, and they made a helmet that's safe. This, this nylon, this uh, nylon interior, silicone interior, I mean, this was designed really to keep the force when you have a collision your, your brain's not going to smack them off your skull not going to get severe concussions obviously if anything you can get a concussion but a lot of the technology you're using in the nfl helmets and other things around the world they utilized right here they put this into this helmet um, i'm more than impressed with the helmet i would recommend looking at this helmet trying it out follow people at kirsch they're going to have a number of different things that are going to be set up uh, throughout the country this year, different events and everything where you can go and try the helmet out. Uh, I would highly recommend it. If you're thinking of getting a helmet, go check them out there. If you'd like to, I host the, I host the Chopper Show, the Buffalo Chip, the School's Out Chopper Show. They're going to be joining us there. And excuse me, that's my dog. He kind of wants a little bit of attention. The other thing great about Kirsch is, Kirsch is American made. The seal as well, okay? This is a vet, all right? So a vet packages this up, they give jobs to veterans. They've been recognized nationally for the program 
it's that they get themselves involved in with hiring veterans, all right? So uh, kudos to Kirsch Helmets being a veteran. That's very important to me. Uh, and that's another thing. So you know, this helmet, wearing this, reminds me of wearing our, our Kelvar helmets back in the day. Yeah, they were a little heavy, but you know what? We knew they'd protect us. They knew they were going to keep us safe. So uh, I'd like to say that I found more negatives with it, but I didn't. You also notice that the chin strap, unlike this helmet right here, okay, it's very easy. We just slide it in, in, pull the tab, release. That's how easy that is. So that's another thing I like. You ever see those guys when you're getting ready to go riding and a bunch of you jumping on your bikes and there's a guy that doesn't quite get going because he's screwing around trying to get his helmet strapped in? Yeah, so that's a problem. So once again, my name's Mario, okay? Check out Kirsch Helmets. It's a great helmet. Thanks, guys.